uh, in Wayne Manor in our library, and if we jumped on the wrong poles, you see, people ask, how can you change so fast going down the pole? And Adam used to explain that, well, movie magic, we had a wardrobe man who slid down the pole behind us and helped us get dressed. <laughs> but if you got on the wrong pole, you'd be in the wrong costume. <laughs> I don't think Adam would have fit into Bert's costume very well. I don't think that would have been a good fit. Well, it was expandable, thank goodness. <laughs> That's a whole other problem you had with that costume, that it was expandable. Yeah. Yeah. Tell them the story about uh, driving on the first day. Well, that, that shot with the door. Shooting the pilot? Shooting the pilot. Oh, you mean coming oh, in the Batmobile? You know, people say, oh, it must have been so much fun making that show. And it was fun, but it was very dangerous. Uh, in today's world, I think people in production have a safer environment. But at the time, this was my very first shot, my very first day in the Batmobile. Uh, I went into the Bronson Canyon that's in Hollywood. They have a cave there. And I got into the Batmobile because it was dark. It was kind of hard to see. I thought it was Adam sitting next to me, but it wasn't. It was somebody else. And I asked him, well, who are you? He says, my name is Yubi. I said, yeah, but what are you doing here? He said, I'm a stuntman. It's a very dangerous stunt I'm about to do, and I, they don't want to take a chance of Adam West getting hurt. I said, well, 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 why is it so dangerous? Oh, we have to come out at 55 miles an hour. We've got to make a sharp left turn. This, this sign is going to go down. we got to go over it. And, and, and I said, geez, you know, do I have a stuntman? And they said, yeah, yeah. The guy said, you have a stuntman. I said, well, I wonder where he is. Oh, he's having coffee with Adam West. <laughs> So they said, all right, roll it up, close it up, we're going to start. And I said, no, no, wait, wait, wait. So the assistant director came over. He said, Bert, what, what is it? You're holding everything up. I said, I, I, this man's telling me it's a dangerous shot. He says, yes, it is. I said, yeah, but I've got a stuntman, but he's over having coffee. Why am I sitting here in this scene if it's so dangerous? He says, because we can't use him. I said, what, what, why can't you use him? because well, he doesn't look like you. Oh my God, why would you hire somebody to be a stuntman for you if he doesn't look like you? Couldn't find anybody else. <laughs> so I did the shot, came out at 55 miles an hour. Unexpectedly, my door flew open. Oh. And the centrifugal force was throwing me out the door and I so luckily reached behind and I caught my little finger around the gear shift knob, but it, it kept me from falling out, but my finger came out of joint. And in about two minutes, it was my finger in the glove was twice the normal size. And they, they ran over, because it knocked the, the cameraman off the camera truck, and knocked a big arc lamp down, somebody could have been killed. And they, and they saw my hand, they said, Bert, my gosh, we, we gotta get you to a doctor. And I said, okay, well, where, where, where's the car? Oh, well, wait a minute, Bert, we can't do that now. We didn't get the shot. I said, well, what, what, what do you mean? Oh, we got 80 guys on this crew. It's $35,000 a half hour. We got to get the shot first. This was 7.45 in the morning, and I left for the hospital at noon. Oh. And over the next four days, I was in the hospital three out of the four days from two-by-fours coming down, breaking my nose. It second degree burns. I, I tell you, I didn't think I was going to survive the first week. Less boy wonder, more boy wonder when he's going to quit finally.